That's basically my mating call. Um, if you hear me doing that, you best be running to me with Starbucks in both hands, girl. However, I also use it to get back at my haters. My name is Ryan Thomas Woods and this week I am just so freaking excited because not only am I going to be at Playlist Live Tri-State this weekend but also the new Hunger Games movie comes out and I'm just I'm just so excited to go see it with friends and I'm just so excited. So since the new Hunger Games movie is coming out this week I thought I would do a YouTube edition of the Hunger Games challenge. Basically I've come up with a bunch of Hunger Games scenarios and all I have to do is pick a YouTuber that best fits that scenario. So I went to my Instagram and asked you guys to list your favorite YouTuber and a YouTuber that you dislike and basically I'm putting them both into a scenario and I have to choose which one of those youtubers fits that scenario the best and if your ratchet ass doesn't follow me on instagram and you missed out on this well girl you be missing out on a lot of shit so make sure you follow me on the gram and stuff also throughout the video i'm probably gonna be throwing a little bit of shade out just because of the scenarios and who you guys chose for those scenarios so i'm just saying there's gonna be a little bit of shade but don't take offense because some of these people are actually my friends so i'm just doing it for comedic purposes just so don't hate don't be a hater or else i'm gonna be doing this So without further ado, let the YouTube Hunger Games begin. And let the odds be ever in my flavor. All right, so first scenario. Who would be the first to die in the Hunger Games? So on Instagram, username Natasha underscore Folka underscore Folka uh, Natasha sacrifices Elfie Days and Rebecca Black as tribute. Hmm, well Elfie seems a little pointless sometimes, so like I don't know how much use he would be, but I feel like if Rebecca Black came into the arena and sang Friday or Saturday or whatever f day of the week it was, people would just be on her and she'd be the first to die, I'm pretty sure. Even though I know she's a nice person all, it'll probably be also her niceness that gets her killed because girl, you gotta be ruthless in the Hunger Games, you gotta cut a bitch's throat out! Kind of like living in Los Angeles. <laughs> gotta look out for number one of you gonna survive! <laughs> Next scenario would be, who would be the first to fall in love? in the Hunger Games. Insta user Alicia Monis sacrifices Gigi Gorgeous versus Lush as tribute. I just think Nick and Matthew would be smart about falling in love during the Hunger Games to succeed and have them be the Starcraft lovers that everyone is rooting for. Sorry Gigi. Next question would be who would be the worst dresser like Effie? Instant user we're my O2P O2P? O2P? <laughs> sacrifices Tyler Oakley versus Ryan Thomas Woods as tribute. Girl! Are you saying I'm a bad dresser? Like, I'm not here to throw anyone under the bus or anything. And shove it right up your hairy- <laughs> But Tyler Oakley did win Worst Dress at the MTV Movie Awards this year. So, like... And I mean, the boy's hair alone just stands out. I belong in the capital, bitches! So I feel like if anyone was gonna dress up as Effie for Halloween, it should have been Tyler Oakley because, girl, you wouldn't even need a costume. Next scenario is, who would be the first person to kill another person? Username, this underscore unicorn, sacrifices Shane Dawson versus Pootie Pie as tribute. Depends on what personality Shane takes on. Like, I feel like if you took on Aunt Hilda or Shanene, someone get, would get a pop cap in their ass. What is that called? Cap, pop, cap in their ass? Yeah, someone get it would pop a cap. He would pop a cap in someone's ass. He'd be the first one to kill someone. However, Pootie Pie has like millions of dollars, so I feel like he would just go hide, play some video games, hire someone, pay them millions of dollars to go kill everyone else, and just sit back, let them do their dirty work, and you know, just chillax and rise to success. Where are we playing the Hunger Games here, or are we talking about real life? Next scenario would be, who would be Katniss Everdeen and volunteer as tribute? Insta user Jonah7785 sacrifices Luke Cupforth versus Sam Pepper as tribute. I'm pretty sure the only thing Sam Pepper would volunteer as tribute would be to sexually assault or abuse a woman. No? Too soon? Either way, I think Luke Cupforth would be amazing Katniss Everdeen because that girl is on fire with his red gingerness hair. Next question would be, who would be the better symbol for the Mockingjay? Insta user that geek online sacrifices its grace versus Miranda Sings as tribute. Oh my goodness, who would be a better symbol? To be honest, I think Grace would be a better Mockingjay symbol just because she's sweet, she's humble, and she's been through a lot on YouTube. However, I cannot turn down the idea of having Miranda Sings' face on a pin and everyone wearing it. I think that would be the best symbol of hope for humanity. <laughs> like, who wouldn't want Miranda's face on all their clothing? I'm just saying, that's like fashion forward. So one of my favorite scenes in The Hunger Games is actually when President Snow says, look at this, they're holding hands, I want them dead. <laughs> it's a massive photo on Tumblr that I see all the time and I always reblog it. So my question is, who would be President Snow? So Insta user Tribe Royal 
sacrifices Tyler Oakley versus Hannah Hart as tribute. So basically, Hannah Hart is so, so sweet. I don't think she would make a good present snow at all because she's just like too kind, she's drunk all the time, she bakes things, like you know what I mean? Like that's just not a good present snow. You need someone who is ruthless. If they're gonna be burned, they're gonna take that other person who's burning them down and that person would be Tyler Oakley. If someone was sending Tyler Oakley to hell, he'd be grabbing them by the ankle and dragging them down to hell with him. I'm just saying, Tyler Oakley would be President Snow. Last question would be, who would be the best ally to have in the Hunger Games? Insta user Lionheart8 sacrifices Joy Graceffa and Nash Greer as tribute. First off, I feel like with Nash, he would just obnoxiously and arrogantly insult me all the time. Bang! And also when it's dark and my white ass is trying to hide, it would be so difficult not to get caught because of Nash's big blue ass eyes. It'd be okay during the day, but once that motherfucking sun goes down, Nash's eyes be like, where's all my bitches at? With that being said, I'd have to choose Joy Graceffa. Okay, I need to stop now because I felt like I just went from nice sass to mean sass real quick. I guess I just have a lot of built up emotion and I just wish we could all get along like we used to in middle school. I wish I could build a cake full of rainbows and smiles and everyone would eat and be happy. She doesn't even go here. Shut up, Damien. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If I made you laugh, make sure you click that thumbs up button as it really helps a bitch out. So help a bitch out. Also, make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know who I should collab with at Playlist Live this weekend. Do you have a favorite YouTuber that's going to be there? If so, leave it down in the comments section below because I love reading your comments and hopefully I'll be able to collab with another one of your favorite YouTubers. Side note, if you see me at Playlist Live or in New York City, please don't be shy to come up and say hey. Also, I'm going to be having a meetup on this Saturday at Playlist Live. So if you want to meet me, take some selfies, get some Starbucks with me make sure you check down in the description below for the time and location and if it's not there make sure you follow me on twitter and snapchat because that's where i'll be posting you guys 24 7 on what is the 411 okay but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video or i'll see you this weekend bye